iMac G3 with SSD. Is it faster? I love the G3 iMac. It was the first iMac I owned. It was introduced in 1998, just over a year after Steve Jobs returned to the company. The unveiling alluded to the original 1984 Macintosh, yet it looked very fresh and went on to define a new design language for computers and consumer electronics in general. They are slow by today's standards, but have you ever wondered how much faster they are with an SSD drive? Let's have a look. To the right I have a 1999 model with Firewire and 400MHz. Unfortunately the DVD drive no longer works and sourcing an airport adapter that is needed for wireless internet is unreasonably expensive for the iMac G3. So when I happened across a reasonably priced 2001 model with 600MHz, maxed out RAM at 1GB and a fitted airport card, I snapped it up. As you can see this later version is different. It does away with the colors that brought the iMac to fame. Instead, it is milky white. I've replaced the backup battery in the Snow iMac and I've installed an SSD drive and a SATA to ATA adapter. The SSD was cloned from the slower iMac so they are running exactly the same software. There are three things I'm timing here. Firstly, how quick does it boot? Then, how long does it take to launch apps? I chose three apps to launch at startup. Finally, how long does it take to shut down? As you can see, installing an SSD into a G3 iMac does boost its speed, but the gains are not dramatic. Most of the speed is lost to the ATA bus to which it is connected. Nevertheless, I recommend the procedure for a different reason. Spinning disks will eventually die, even more so if they are not used regularly. So do it for the peace of mind that you can enjoy the cuteness of this turnaround Mac for years to come.